Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Side Dental Vlogs, and I'm back with another video. So today's topic will be like if there is a patient calling you and he has a huge swelling, and when you clinically examine the patient, you see that the tooth is mobile. So the question arises: You will to extract the tooth, but do we need to wear a PPE kit before doing the extraction of these kind of patients? So today we'll discuss about this thing only. Suppose. PP kit is of various GSMs. It is available in 50 GSM, 70 GSM, and 90 GSM, 120 GSMs. So, extracting a mobile tooth for the patient will heal the total swelling and cellulitis, whatever is present. Basically, what you are doing, you are removing the foci of infection. Why the tooth is mobile? Because there is widening of the periodontal ligament, and there is severe infection due to mainly of the bacteria Streptococcus, okay, and Staphylococcus. So cellulitis, my whatever person abscess is there is basically due to Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus mutans group of bacteria. Now, the main question comes whether you can just go to the clinic, wear a mask and face shield, and uh, without using the PPE kit, can you do the extraction wearing the gloves? What is your answer? Yes, we can do. Uh, in procedures where we use aerosol procedures, like where we use air rotor. Or we use uh, scaling. So these kind of procedures right now requires your PPE kit because it helps to uh, helps your aerosol to stay away from your body, right? So the aerosol is not getting inside your body or it's not sticking to your body. But think of the situation: the coronavirus can spread through a droplet infection even from 10 meters away. So you really think is the PPE kit gonna protect you? From all those viruses, and even if the aerosol is coming and it's hitting the patient's mouth, and then it's again reflecting back. So if you take it everything slowly, and if you color the saliva of the patient with red dye, then you can see where and all it is spreading. It, you can see even the red color in the walls also. So this is the thing. So PPE kit is safe to some extent. It will help you, but. In some patients, what suggestions I will try to give you? That whenever patient walks into your clinic, keep one chlorhexidine solution and one betadine gargle in the basin of your clinic. Whenever the patient comes to your clinic, tell the patient to gargle, okay? And after that, you tell the patient that I am going to extract the tooth. So while gargling, you will you are overall use uh, reducing the amount of load of bacteria and microorganisms inside the oral cavity. So after that you can do the extraction. Just you have to give the local anesthesia, and just pluck out the tooth and send the patient. For right now, it's only necessary to take out emergency tooth and do some emergency procedures only because of the COVID spread. And I soon hope ki jaldi se ye COVID jo situation hai that is gonna be uh, uh, like reduced and third wave na aaye Bhagwan ki daya se because we dentists are really suffering because of this coronavirus situation. And uh, not us, not only dentists, but other people who are inside their homes, who are in lockdown. Nobody is able to move outside. College ki classes nii ho rahi hai. In fact, the students are getting hampered because the regular classes are being conducted online, and uh, people are not able to move outside for like any kind of purpose, or even for open the opening their businesses and small small works. So, if you are able to buy PPE kit, use it judiciously, right? Suppose there is a scaling patient and it is not that much urgent treatment, so you can defer the patient that अभी नहीं कर सकते हैं because of this corona corona situation, we are not doing these kind of procedures where a lot of aerosols will be produced. So by this procedure, by this you are keeping yourself safe and your family also safe. But हाँ, if you have a lot of PP kits and you don't want to take at all a risk, then And only go to a clinic if uh, in my previous video I have told if we have already taken both the vaccines then only go to the clinic and do emergency procedures. Otherwise you can always always refer the patient to some government hospital or to some dental college. So if you have not taken the vaccine, don't start your clinic because that is very risky. So at least take the vaccine and both the vaccines and then whatever protocol you have to follow then follow and don't try to be uh, like. I will do all the procedures. Nothing will happen to me. This is a very uh, like lame kind of thing, and you should not do it at all. So, just this is a period of one month. This will get soon. Like it will get over as soon as possible. And after that, we all will. We all want to work. We all want to 
come back to our uh, earlier form what we were in and uh, for those people who are feeling what sh they should do during this covid lockdown period i have made a video in my previous uh, video you can see so what to do in lockdown so you can see those videos and get some idea like how to spend the time in the in this lockdown whether to go to clinic or you should open a new clinic all these videos i have already made so aaj ke liye itna hi so i think you have understood what i am trying to say till then take care love you all bye bye and please do follow me in instagram sai_dental and you can subscribe to this channel as well bye bye